Tales from Flipside Family. Here's the second part of the TCG player uh, application that we talked about, the selling platform. Uh, this is uploading your comics um, to their system and then putting them, they're automatically put up for sale. So when TCG player first added comics, we had to add them manually. Um, you put in the title, it'd bring up and you could, you had to do one at a time go to a different page, put how many you had, condition, and the price you wanted. Um, that was very labor intensive, but like it was brand new, they wanted to get it up and running before Christmas, I get it. Um, they've come up with a new process, and we're here. It's, uh, it's basically a, kind of a little workaround of, uh, it's copy of TCG Player comic book, UPC lookup tool, which they created in a Google Doc. Very cool. I mean, I think that's great to be innovative and be able to move and, and quickly get stuff for the people that are selling on there. So basically, uh, the scanner that I have picks up um, the whole 11 numbers or nine numbers, whatever it is, I think it's 11. Um, so I can use the second tool. So basically I wanna highlight the, the UPC, take my trusty dusty scanner and pop it in there. And you didn't see it because it happened so fast, but the follow link actually changed. And you click on the follow link and it redirects you uh, to the page on TCG player. And you're quickly, you put in your four, I hit double tap, I'm over to the price I want on my store. Um, and this is a near mint book. Um, so basically what they did, instead of you actually having to choose the choose it as a click box. Um, it's basically near mint. You can see it on the screen here, near mint, fine, good, fair, damaged. Uh, so wherever you set the book is what its condition is. So I'm gonna ask four bucks for it. Uh, and I have a total of one. I, I pop it in there. I hit save. I close it. I go back to this. I highlight the scannable area, and I scan the next book. Now, it doesn't work all the time. It works a lot faster. I don't know if you guys caught it. Were you watching it? Did you see it change? It changed. Um, these, It is working a lot better than when it first uh, came out, but it's still, some of the numbers aren't in the system. So it's another uh, near mint book. Put it right in, add it, save it, close. Now, if I wasn't having to stop it to talk um, and I was could multitask, uh, maybe we could get more books in here. See, that one says comic not found. Now, the pain is when it doesn't find a comic, you have to go back, highlight it, and then try it again because it might have been where I scanned it at. Nope, that one is not found. So that UPC uh, is not found. So I can just go highlight again, take the next book out. Oh, that one's not found either. I'm on a streak now. Huh. It's funny because this is uh, the Wolverine. I just scanned number 21. This is number 27. Uh, this is an older book. So it should be in there. Some of the newer books haven't been entered in it yet, but let's try. Oh, I'm running into a whole group now. Yeah, so this is this is the issue with it. Then we have to go back and try and end, uh, add these manually. And these, um, I know they've been making updates. Not found, not found. But you know, you know this show is all about showing the scars, pimples, all that. I I do like this system. I do like their platform. I like how the the, the customers are treated. I like how the sellers are treated by the company. Um, it is a really good um, community. Um, wow. 
Yeah, so you do run into a bunch that you can't find. I want to get one so I can get back on the page so I can show you how to do it manually. It doesn't look like any of those are there. Let's see if we get one of these. There we go. All right, so that's there. I've already entered that book. That's how I knew it was in there, but I wanted to get back to this, this part so that we can show you some. Um, so you see this icon up here, it says back to inventory. You click on that. And then here's their search box on the side here. You can search your own inventory if you're looking to see if you have a book in there or not. Um, you can also just, by not leaving that blank, you can go down here to product line and you can see all the stuff that they do carry. It has all of it on there. Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, D&D Miniatures, Hero Clicks, WoW, Cardfight Vanguard, Force of Will, Dice Master, Future, Car uh, Future Card Buddy Fight, uh, Weiss Schwartz, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Final Fantasy, uh, Universe, Star Wars Destiny, Dragon Ball Super CCG, uh, Dragonborn Funkos. They also have Funkos on here, which I haven't started selling through there, but I may. Um, Funkos are kind of pain to ship. Um, I'd rather just sell them out of the store. We sell enough out of the store. So, uh, Meta X TCG, which I'm not familiar. Uh, that might be Meta Zoo, huh? Maybe. Uh, cards, you can sell card sleeves, deck boxes, deck storage tins, life counters, play mats, um, zombie order. But you can see, you can go down and look. And if you go log on to the site, oh, there's Meta Zoo down there. Um, if you log on to the site, it'll show you all the stuff that they that they you can sell through that. Um, but you can go right here to Marvel Comics, and then you can it actually has like alphabetically every Marvel comic that it has in the system. So what was the last one we couldn't get in there? Wolverine, which is that um, cover that's a swipe from the uh, Deadpool. Wolverine cover. So we'll go all the way down here to W. There's Wolverine. Now we got to get the right the right one. So this is Wolverine. Of course, they're not on the first page when you go in or the second page. Is this back in 13 when they were doing it at the back? I don't know what year this is. Maybe this is 2021. So you want to find, go to Wolverine, it's just Wolverine. You see all the different Wolverine books there are. It's 2020. Let's see if that is the right one. I have the lab on there, so it's a little bit slow. The other thing is it goes numerical, which is kind of a pain. Number one, it doesn't go number one, number two, number three. It goes number one, 10, 11, 12, all the way through the ones, and then to two, and then, uh, let's see. Hmm. They don't show the cover for this. I want to say this is the right one. That might be why it doesn't scan. They don't have a photo for it yet. We can go back and look at, um, yeah, so that's going to be the right one because you can see that the, the way that they write Wolverine, uh, the way that their uh, price box is and way they've shown Marvel, that's the same series. So we just go in here to 23. And even though there isn't a photo, which would really help to sell this book because of the, that it's the swipe of the Deadpool cover book with Wolverine in it. And then you just go down to save. And that's why these are newer books. So they're, they haven't added these books in correctly yet. So that's why it's a little slow. Then once that's out, you can actually change all the way back to showing all sets and names 
and it'll actually have it. You can go through this way, this way, just forget about it. Cause there's, I, I don't know, there's somewhere around eight or 10,000 entries for different names of different books. So it is much easier to drop down the set. You can also just put in the search. So I can put in Ghost Rider and the number. And then all the Ghost Rider number fours should come up. So then if you look uh, to the center column where it says set, um, you can switch it back and forth, uh, sending, descending. And it'll take a little while to come through. But you can see what how much work this is going to be to put in your entire uh, collection. All right, Ghost Rider number four, that's 1973. Let's go all the way to the end. 2002. And there it is, Ghost Rider number four, but they also put in parentheses the legacy number which can also help you find it as long as you know to put it number four and then in parentheses, parentheses 247 uh, of the series. So this is not a variant. So we'll put right in here, new mint book, bagged right off the shelf. And then it shows you that updated queue successfully. So there in a nutshell, uh, I don't wanna bore you with going through you know a mini uh, a short box of comics, um, but they're constantly working on this program. It is brand new. Uh, we are getting updates weekly. Uh, unlike some people have heard me talk about another company out there that does sales online, um, whose program is hot garbage and uh, they're not fixing it. Uh, they're just trying to get more sales. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping by the end of next year to have my entire collection uh, in here. If you already have your collection on a CSV file, you're able to uh, work with them on getting your CSV file uploaded with your entire collection and it would go right up for sale right away. You would have to fix all the, all the pricing, but as long as you have all the fields and field to field, they can, uh, they can put, it, put it in there. Uh, but listen, contact them, they have it on their website, a contact. Um, so this is the seller's por portal we're looking at right now. There is a lot of tools. Um, you can, on the card side, you're able to set if, um, unless somebody buys out your entire, like, let's say you have 10 of something in there, unless if they buy all 10 at the same time, when something goes up, you can set your management tools to actually raise the price of your books. Um, currently, I mean, raise the price of your cards. I believe that's also gonna be in the comic book uh, area. You can reserve, like let's say I have 10 of a copy of a certain book. I can reserve five for in-store. That's twofold. One, when somebody comes to the store, they can look it up on the kiosk and I'll have five issues for those people to chew through. The other thing is if a book gets really hot, the most people can buy from me is above that. I will still have the five um, available to then reset the price from and put it back out there. So that's, they do have a lot of tools uh, on here. And if there's a lot of interest, if you don't, uh, if you wanna know a little bit more before you go out and actually uh, hook up with TCG when you start your comic shop. Uh, maybe uh, we'll do some more in-depth uh, stuff. If you're interested, please leave comments. Um, please leave comments of something you'd like to see. If you're a comic shop that'd like to be interviewed because uh, you're doing something different, please leave it in the comments. I'll get a hold of you. We'd love to uh, have you on the show. Uh, we're still trying to get some some more people. This year's been a little crazy. I've ha I've had I'd like step back a little bit, work on the shop some more. Uh, business has been rather slow, so you know I can't keep making videos about running a comic shop if there's no comic shop I'm running. So um, yeah, you know what I always say: keep reading comics.
get people to read comics. We need readers. And open a comic shop.